I'm a creature of the University of California. I was an undergraduate at UCLA from 66 to 70. I went there because they, they had just recruited this fantastic basketball player, Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I remember the press conference uh, when I was a junior in high school when he announced that he was going to UCLA, and I said, that's it, I'm going to UCLA. <laughs> Uh, but once I got there, I had already a big interest in science. I realized there was this world of, of, of science, uh, uh, and I knew I wanted to be a part of that. And I devoted myself completely to that. And then when I got to Berkeley, I realized, well, I have another role here. Uh, that is as a teacher, not only of graduate students doing research, but of undergraduates. At, at first, it was difficult transitioning that. I had no experience teaching formally. I was a graduate student at Stanford in a medical school department and had very little exposure to the undergraduates. But when I got here, I had to teach undergraduates, most of whom are pre-medical students, uh, who are not as necessarily you know, keen in the discovery process as I was. But still, I learned, uh, you know, I had to do a job and I, uh, I had to be, I had to make myself understood. And I, re I realized over many years um, that that actually has a really important role, not only in in uh, uh, my conveying enthusiasm for science to these kids, but also in uh, developing an ability to communicate with people who are uninitiated. I also feel very strongly, even more strongly, about the role of public higher education, having had the benefit of the University of California for my formative years. Uh, I feel it's uh, absolutely crucial that uh, places like Berkeley continue to flourish I'm certain that without public higher education, there would be many fewer great scientists in this country. In fact, 80 percent, 70 percent of the of the of the kids who go to university in this in this country go to public institutions, and the, these are all in peril because of cuts at the state level. So um, I'm I'm pleased that it's now seems to be on the rebound, and I intend to use whatever influence I have now to help the university. Uh, raise more funds for that. Mine is only the latest example of many where undirected basic science and public investment in that science leads directly to, uh, to application of, of tremendous value. And now one third of the world's supply of insulin is manufactured by secretion in yeast. It's nothing that I did in my laboratory, but, but what we learned set the stage for that to be possible. Of course, this is wonderful news for me, but I think it's even more important for public education and specifically for UC Berkeley, where the investment uh, and the, the years of discovery and, uh, and effort by my colleagues and by my graduate students have led to my being recognized this day at a wonderful place like Berkeley. Go Bears!